Hi, I'm Ronnie from Ronnie's Garage. Today we're going to have a technical seminar covering the GM Hydromatic four-speed transmission used in the Silver Clouds and the early post-war cars. We're going to service it and we're going to take the valve body, the little control unit, apart and I'm going to discuss how it works. I'll, sh I'll do some air checks and I'll show you how things kind of work inside. Oh, Ronnie, 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 this tube can come out. I mentioned the reverse cone. Here's where you check, there's an air passage. Hear that? Yeah. Okay, so when I pressurize it, you hear it apply, and when I take the pressure off, it's coming off. And that, that, that's for reverse. Uh, I think these two, watch out, we might have fluid. I don't wanna get in. I like all you guys, so. Okay, that's a clutch. You can hear it kinda leaks, but that's normal. Hear that thump? You hear the thump? That's a clutch applying. Let's try this one again. He's got a little leakage. Now, um, here's the band. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. <laughs> Don't try this at home. <laughs> you have to like yourself better. <laughs> Listen to me. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, God. You know, that happens just about every time I do it, too. Go, hmm. I forget where it comes out. No, okay, we'll do the other hole. It comes out all over. Okay, so just so you guys watch this lever, there's a band that goes around there. and. Now what this one does, the rear band, when the car is not running, is on. So when I'm air pressurizing, it's releasing it. <laughs> now the front band, if, let's see, before I call somebody over. Yeah, so you can barely see it. If you look in here, this is the band and it wraps around. See it move? Right in here. So it wraps around, what it's doing is grabbing the outside of the drum. <laughs> okay. Well, that was fun. Now I smell. We got all afraid to come up and look at because we didn't want to get sprayed. What now? You were pointing to something up here. There is a band right here. And what you've got a piston right here, and you've got a stop on the top, which is where you adjust it. The band goes around the outside of the drum, and when you air pressurize it, it squeezes on the outside. Okay. So that 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 applies. Let's see if I can do it without getting you wet. Just watch that. Wait, gotta be on it. Did you see how it grabbed it? Need a bit more light there. It's very slight because when it's adjusted properly, it shouldn't have too much of oh, I see clearance. So wasn't that exciting? Yeah. More for you than the rest of us. <laughs> what do you We figured out his name path. It says Pat, it says Spot. Spot. <laughs> Okay, any questions? <laughs> when you, now when, you, when, you were, when you were going to service this normally, would, would you have to carry on dismantling all the, the bands and epicyclic gears and everything? Or can if, you, if I overhaul it, yes. If you overhaul it, you yes. do? Yes, you disassemble everything, inspect it, look at all the bushings, replace the so rubber seals. You're talking seals. about a major job? Yes, yes. It's 20, yeah. 20 something hours to, to uh -huh. pull one out, go through it, put it back in, and make it yep. work. There <laughs> goes that room edition. I'm holding on. <laughs> we'll make it much better by going through what we found over there. I'm sure it will. Yeah, much better. Have much so worse. you were just demonstrating how it worked here, or you're actually doing some servicing when you're blowing the air through? When I was blowing the air through, that's called an air check. And uh, normally you do it when you do it, when you overhaul a transmission, it's on the bench and there's no fluid in it yet. Um, <laughs> You want to make sure that what you put together is operating correctly. Um, so the clutches, which are inside the big drums, and the diagram, I, I don't know if I have a diagram for that, they squeeze, 
inside the drum, and then the bands on the outside grab the outside of the drum. So what I was doing was I was applying them and listening. So when I hit that first, the front clutch pack, I could hit it and you hear a bump, bump. It was slight, but I, I, I'm trained to that, and I was just worried about all the fluid coming out for a good reason. Um, and then the bands, the front one is normally off, so when I would apply it, I could see it was moving, it was cinching in. And the rear one is normally on, so when I would apply it, I saw this lever moving and it was releasing it. Uh, and then we all heard that, that reverse cone. When I'd apply that, you could hear it go pop. And that, that just operates another set of gears that change the direction of this shaft. Um, so that's... What about the clutch material you found when you took that apart from some of the other things? So well... Is there a problem with that up in there? Well, if you look at the pan, you see there's a lot in there. now. The screen is not a super fine screen, but that just means that some stuff's moving around in there, obviously. Um, nine times out of ten, you can clean up that stuff and it'll work fine. Uh, it's never a good sign to see this, that just means things are getting old and tired. So, you know, there's no guarantees, it'll shift better, but, you know, that's just a sign of wear. Uh, and in driving a car that has a poorly shifting transmission, will cause more of that because it's not applying properly. It's supposed to apply fairly gently, you know, and not slam. So, you know, you're, you're just going to get some more problems. And if it's not, one part's not coming off, like I explained about the clutch pack being on when a band comes on on the outside, you're going to burn up that clutch pack. So the timing on that, if it's not releasing the clutches before that band comes on, you're going to get it some wear every time. Is this something that you would find on all of these cars of that year, of that period? No, not all the cars. Most of the cars, just a service and a linkage adjustment makes them shift fine. Yeah. But we'd already been down that road with Bob's. Yeah. That's why I recommend we get a little bit further. Uh -huh. It's still, you know, it's still, a, it's not cheap what this cost to do, but it's not like going into it completely. Because the transmission still worked, and I can't justify in my mind telling somebody you need an overhaul when it's just shifting funny at this point. It's not slipping. Uh, you know when there's a problem. I had somebody buy a Pontiac straight eight, I forget what year, 49 or something like that, 48, and drive it all the way back from Vegas in second gear. He didn't have any, <laughs> and it has the same basic transmission, the hydromatic four speed, and, and I just. Uh, <laughs> So I had to go through that one, obviously, because he burned up a lot of stuff in there. Ronnie, you said that parts are very hard to get. Can you get bands and clutches or not? Yeah, bands and clutches, that, that's service items. Those you can still get. I can get overhaul kits for these with the clutches. Uh, there's springs that go bad in these that release clutches. A lot of times if, if the car has been burned up, the transmission's burned up, springs well, when they get really hot, they'll just lose their tension. They won't do their job anymore. So it's real important on the timing, on releasing those clutches fast enough so that when that band comes on, they're not applied still. So most of the service items you can get, hard parts are harder to get. You know, like planetary gears. I had to place some of those on one not long ago. Fortunately, I have parts floating around here because I've been around taking cars apart and bought used stuff and all that kind of stuff. I can usually make things happen.